terms of form and tradition. Manchester United will be favourites for many of you. But Crystal Palace have almost prioritised the FA Cup since the turn of the year. They've had some outstanding wins. They won at Southampton, who finished sixth in the Premier League. They won at Tottenham, who finished third in the Premier League. They've had a more daunting run to the final than Manchester United. As you will have noticed, it's United who've changed from red to white. And a little bit behind schedule. The 135th FA Cup final is underway. New sponsor, relatively new stadium, building its own history. We've been here many times, Martin. Have we heard a better atmosphere than we've here in here today. I'm not sure we have. No, I'd agree with you. Louis van Gaal could be looking at his last game in charge of Manchester United at the end of his second season. He continues to polarise opinions. But he gets uh, plenty of support from in the Manchester United boardroom. I would say, should he win the trophy today or his players win the trophy for him? We have a reasonable chance of being here for the Community Shield, which of course would be against the league champions, Leicester City. Well, just looking at the way Crystal Palace have set up, it looks as though Kabai is going to play as the holding midfield player, and the other two players are playing slightly in front of him, yet in Atman McArthur, so maybe a surprise from this man here, Alan Pardew. Rooney. Martial, Rojo almost too anxious to get there in support. Really very much the midfield player these days. Maybe embarking on a new chapter of his career, both for club and for country, in a deeper role. I think the role suits him really well, he gets more of the ball. It's a brilliant pass through the ball, that's his best attribute these days. A big cross ball pass, we'll see some of those today. of getting back and doing the defensive side of the game. Fairly blunt, he's been one of Manchester United's better players, as has Chris Smalling in a, uh, an underwhelming season, at least for many of their supporters. Not so much the results, which have been OK, but the, uh, the lack of swagger that's expected. There's more competition around these days. Rooney, let's slip away from... It does. He's going to get pulled as much as he can and he's going to get on the ball and try and find him. There was a run here from Fellaini and just runs offside. I thought that was going to be the pass, but he played it out to Valencia. Couldn't quite catch it up. Wales, Wayne Hennessy. He's the Palace goalkeeper. He's played here before for his country. Blind. Noticeable that Smalling is trying to follow Connor Wickham for any ball that's hit long. He's got a very good header to win the semi final. And I'd be hoping at this same end of the ground to get some good delivery here from this corner. We know Crystal Palace are good at set plays, and we know that Manchester United haven't defended them particularly well this season. They have got Fellaini back in the side, he'll be in the middle of the goal, trying to attack every ball that comes in. Dan Delaney. Good in the air, so too Connor Wickham. Adina also is waiting by the near post. Mr. Palace looking to strike early here, but David De Gea, such a safe pair of hands. Climax to uh, an excellent first season for Anthony Martial. England. Mata, Fellaini. And Michael Parrott called in possession. Good energy by Kabai, but then he loses out. So big 
game, of course, for 18-year-old Marcus Rashford. Normally we'd be uh, spotting up such a youngster in the team, but he's really come in and stuck in the side, hasn't he? It's not as though it's a, a strange selection from Louis van Gaal. The only strange selection was the day he made his debut against Arsenal, scored those two goals. He's been almost an ever-present ever since. Right, just fouled by Kabai here. It's going to be a rotating midfield for Crystal Palace. Mooney's ball beckoning Rojo forward. He's got the better of Ward. And that's gone behind, that will be the Manchester United corner. I've seen both fullbacks try and get forward. Good movement, just for a moment there, Ward got sucked infield. Rojo starts to go past him, but Zahar gets back and makes the challenge, he needed to. Manchester United have been uh, spectacularly late a couple of times to fixtures in London. They're making uh, maybe nothing to chance here. Delaney coming round the back, because they actually stayed in a hotel in the Wembley complex last night, which is unusual for FA Cup final teams. Well played, Yenenak at the far post, up against and Fellaini, was lifted to that back post. Yenenak went with Fellaini, not jumped him on that occasion, that's going to be a good battle when balls come into the box. Well, the beards get bigger and bigger at Crystal Palace, Joe Ledley, who's missed out through injury, also sporting uh, that kind of facial hair. years since Manchester United won the FA Cup. They beat the team from South London then in the Millwall. The final was being played in Cardiff. Here's Rashford to try and use his pace against Delaney, who's struggling. And Mark Clattenberg was not sure he's in absolutely the best position to make the judge, because he was looking through Delaney, really. Good pace from Marcus Rashford. Delaney tries to cut across him here, grabs hold of his shirt as well. Just about gets the ball, it should be a goal kick. He doesn't give a penalty, came off Rashford last. Marcia. Palace, ball back pedalling really. It's a point of that where it started with another United corner. It's a big moment in the game. Rashford beating Delaney for pace, Delaney got a slight touch on the ball, but he was grabbing the shirt of Rashford. I don't think Mark Plattenberger's position of play is normally very good, just quite got, can't obviously work out every time what is the perfect angle. Palace were a little lucky. He certainly didn't ask the advice of his assistant, he gave the corner very quickly. And Fellaini is the man who we want to pin down here, it's, it's over him. Smalling as well. Rooney. Plenty of height on the cross. Taken down by Mata. In again, Hennessy comes and shows some authority there. Hasn't been in top form, Hennessy, in recent weeks. One or two poor errors. A great start to the season. as a player, was involved in that 1990 final for Crystal Palace against Manchester United. And then as a manager, he was in charge of West Ham ten years ago. And he uh, lost to Liverpool on penalties. The oddity about it is they're the only two finals in all the years of FA Cups that finished 3-3. There's the Alan Pardew connection in both, and he was a loser. Once through a replay in 1990. The Palace player and once in a penalty shootout against Liverpool. He was only a minute or so away, wasn't he, from winning the FA Cup with West Ham. So Steven Gerrard scored that last minute goal. Rocker. Rooney. And the way the midfield position suits him because he just loves to get as many touches as possible. Still up, figure out why MacArthur is playing as the furthest forward midfield player, unless he's trying to stop Carrick getting on the ball and dictating the play. Particularly the adventurous midfield player. The position he's playing.
playing today. What a lovely pass from Rooney. And Mata, Rashford, Valencia, and Carrick. We expected a lot of the game to be like this, didn't we, Stuart, with Manchester United you know, having possession, but Alice picking them off, but they're not going to. Well, they did in the nick of time when Suarez, the left back, came across to stop Rashford embroidering his first FA Cup final with a, an early goal here. You see, Delaney was sucked into midfield, a lovely little one too by Rashford. Does that so well now. He first came into the side, had pace, he had enthusiasm, but he's really built up his game in recent weeks. Suarez did well coming across. Tune being called here by Manchester United, and well, there's a lot of talk about Alan Pardew coming up with clever set pieces, but Manchester United have done that as well. And there was one into a, an unusual near post roll, not to flick it on with the head, but to have a crack at goal for Mata. Very difficult to make contact when it's coming across your body that quickly. From Glint, Fellaini stooping in, but not conquering. Got half a yard on his man that time. Doesn't really get the connection. Good attempt from him. He's working really hard against Yelinak to get across the front of him. Yelinak having to grab back at him. Just does enough right at the last minute, Yelinak. He has to put Fellaini off. With a big chance for the Belgian. He missed three games after being found guilty on a, a video charge. An accident. And that's as Robert Huth, who was also banned as well. A swing of the elbow from Fellaini's point of view. Are they inviting pressure the way they set up Crystal Palace? They are in some ways. It's United dominating possession. It's been in good areas as well. They've created a couple of opportunities. The way exactly Crystal Palace we're going to play, but if you're not playing with punching in the team, there's not quite so much threat on the counter. Yes, in the wide areas they've got pace. Akafa's not going to be a real threat. Kabai's not going to be a real threat, and I don't think Conor Wickham's a great athlete. So I think it's a strange decision that Alan Pardew has made by not playing Jason Punchin and playing Kabai as the holding midfield player. But. Uh... Alan Padre will probably say we've got to stay into this game and not to get ourselves blown away early on. It's a little bit of a, a cautious approach. Punction, as you would understand, very disappointed. But, uh, he knows uh, it could be better for the team. The unpredictable Yannick Bolassi. In a corner. Well, that's exactly what Crystal Palace wanted. They won the ball back in a decent area. Balassi running with the ball, looking for a crossfield pass. They had a 2v1 on the far post. They are just keeping it in from Blint's header. Sides met recently uh, at Old Trafford. Both made changes because it was just before the semi finals here at Wembley. Manchester United won 2 0. Goal by Damien Delaney to pass on the back foot straight away. Matteo Fabian scored his only goal for the club. He's one of the substitutes today, the Italian fullback. United uh, pretty comfortably. The game was set his part back in uh, late October, finished goalless. Martial. Delaney to work with here. Matter. working in these sort of areas, Stuart. It's a passing craftsmanship. Might hold the key. Really, to have a shot. But there was a deflection on it. And Hennessy's going really to dive on that again as Matter was trying to follow in. He's had a lot of the ball, Wayne Rooney. Getting out to him that time. Took the deflection. 
With Matov coming infield off that right-hand side, it does mean that Valencia will keep breaking forward. Here's Zaha, and he's just pushed. Lucas Rojo. Zaha is never going to be first of that, that's where the foul's committed. Oh, get in there first, he's always going to turn away with the ball. pinned up on the wall from friends and family. Harvey doing everything to try and get the psychology right for his team. It's the tactics, really, probably determine more. Spotting it and being able to execute it. It's okay, MacArthur trying to stop Carrick getting on the ball, but they've got to stop Wayne Rooney getting on the ball. He's got too much time to pick his pass out here. Uh, Ward is tucked in field, it means that Zaha's got to go back there. Rojo, he should have done better in the end. The ball back. It's all Manchester United at the moment. It's really struggling to get hold of the ball. But as it was in the semi final against Everton, and then in the second half, of course, the game took a distinctly blue tinge. and was going to be a last-minute winner, which there was. We would have bet on the coming from Everton, but it came against them. Obviously, destroyed their hopes, and Manchester United moved here to Wembley today. Game change because of the change of tactics from Everton, not from Manchester United. It's maybe what Crystal Palace have got to do at some point. Martial, Rooney. Speed off the mark to uh, try that kind of manoeuvre, but his passing so far has been first rate. <laughs> oh, they uh, have said, go on. But, uh, <laughs> the back, the Palace fans think that the game had gone on, it hadn't. I say, Stuart, I was watching the ball and wondering. Well, it's a strange decision by Mark Plattenberg. Now, Chris Smalling, I thought, was really quick, but he gets beaten for pace here. Oh, Wickham, and they both go down. Wickham gets back up, but the referee, Plattenberg's already given the free kick and booked Chris Smalling. It's a big moment in the game. That's what he's booked him for, that grabbing of Connor Wickham. Well, I've got to say, he's quicker than I thought he was. Mm. And uh, you could say Mark Plattenberg a bit quick with the whistle, but to be fair, that was more the sort of angle he would have seen it from, and he wanted to uh, do the right thing. Whether what happened after that was involved defensively for Manchester United, and heard that whistle probably. Big threat, in swinging free kick, big players in the box, good technician goodbye. Manchester United had problems against West Ham, seeded from the set plays from this sort of area. Goodbye takes. Been an own goal, but for David De Gea. Just goes over the first man. Does Balassi get the flick here? Can you look at it again. Yes, he yeah, does. He did. Yeah. A good little flick at the near post. Manchester United marking on the wrong side. They have to be in front of Balassi in that near post area. Crystal Palace corner. Remember, set piece strength. The FA Cup away from Manchester United here. It's a second ball in, Fellaini deals with. Well, that's it. Scott Dan's very good in the air, he's waiting on the far side here, but the ball's still there, no good enough for him. Nice scoring uh, Premier League defender of the season, Crystal Palace number six. And he'll get some criticism for that decision, but you can see why he gave it so early. Because Connor Wickham had gone to ground, they've both gone to ground, and then he gets up quickly. But by the time he got up, Mark Plattenberg had already given the free kick. He said, What a great 
great week it is for him. FA Cup final, Champions League final. It's going to be a corner. Team. Exactly what they want. Set plays, free kicks, corners. See Fellaini standing on the edge of the six-yard box for Match United. He's going to try and attack everything. That's got to miss him out here. Goodbye. somebody if you're not actually watching the ball how do you deal with it and you think the player who is watching the ball the attacker would be a better place to judge the trajectory and make contact with it anyway it's a free kick for united and then he flicks it on by Ward, back comes Martial. shooting range good save though from Hennessy lovely reverse ball gets a bit lucky here Matt it comes off a couple of Palace players but he passes it perfectly into that far corner Hennessy just gets a big enough touch good save from the Welsh goalkeeper season breaking the England scoring record scoring on Tuesday against uh, Bournemouth she needed a hundred Old Trafford goals in the Premier League Indicated. 
Uh, everybody needs to know that he got it in the face. And once again, it's Valencia playing the one-two with Mata. They're combining well. That's hit him in the face as well. Trying to pick out Fellaini, he was making his way into the box. It's a good combination out of that right hand side so far. One Mata coming in field, trying to link up with Valencia's player playing higher on that right hand side. It's a terrific corner. Oh, what a chance for Fellaini. It's another corner. Is it a wonderful save at the end of it? Well, I think Hennessy gets a hand on it here. Once again, he gets away from... Oh, does it come off the defender? Once he gets there... I'm not sure where it comes off in the end. That's a big, big chance. He gets on the wrong side again of Yedinak. Well, he knows it was a really big chance. Oh, good hit, Yedinak. into the middle but chose to try and take it down that's what he likes to do on many occasions he tries to take his touch back inside usually takes it onto his right foot and gets the shot away Rooney well to reach that he was spinning round so Portsmouth had a taste of the Premier League when Still in it. It's a long way from it now. That particular club. Was rebuilt to his career with Palace. That's why I think it was a Zaha ahead of all. Zaha did well there. Just pitched the ball off Martial. As always, when a front player gives it away, he starts chasing back. You know the foul's coming. Zaha did well just to cut back across Martial. side and get his shot away. Well, the awkward one for David Gaia. He's done by Carrick, so he's done by Kabai. Here's Wickham. He's just pulled it wide to the relief of Michael Carrick. Well, he's had a decent start to the game, Conor Wickham. There's the poor pass, trying to find Wayne Rooney. Just beat this morning, takes it to the side, manipulates the ball really well. He doesn't ball with his laces. I wonder whether he might have been advised to try and take Chris Smalling on. Smalling now has a booking. Not many times this season has Chris Smalling been beaten for pace, but I think he was when Connor Wickham ran in and that when he got his booking. Chris Smalling, he's not at his best today, or the Wickham's quicker than I thought. Trying to be the target. He's racing back to provide some defensive screen as Martial takes on Crystal Palace. Rooney, Carrick, all but Wickham now back behind the ball on Pardew's team. Carrick, it's a lovely ball. To Ashford, he made it back to Rooney. Ashford again, trying to be understandably tricky around the edge of the penalty area. Then gives and goes. And they're capable of doing that, Rashford in a short career show he can do it. And that's the time and place to do those little tricks in and around the box. It had to have been on the same wavelength, Rashford was in, a little one-two. Season. 
working hard to get ready for the Euros. Had the issues in previous tournaments with England. Just wants us, the England captain now to lead the challenge in France in a few weeks' time. That's the question everybody's asking is where is he going to play on the side? Because he's certainly playing as a midfield player. He wants to get on the ball. I think it suits him perfectly. He hasn't got the pace to play as an out-and-out -out front player these days. Particularly aerially, Marcus Rojo. Yes, he's been deputed to mark of score against Manchester United for some pieces this season. Zaha gets the cross in. Just a bit too much of Wickham there. Brilliant from Smalling. It's Colin Wickham. When that ball started to come into the box, he was favourite to win it. And Smalling made up the ground and got the block in. As you said, he's got to be very careful as well. Well, it's only beaten Manchester United once in the last 25 years. It was in a cup tie and at Old Trafford, a new cup tie in 2011. Look at Zaha playing that, has been Chris Smalling. be a difficult guy to leave out of the team and he is a very genuine fella at times he's pressed for pace and it's a bit more difficult for him we were talking before the game and he's played in half a pitch he's been the best player on the field every week here's a player who was the best player on many a field for many a week Ryan Giggs of course the assistant Take a manager of Manchester United just for four games. Forward of David Moyes management was curtailed. A candidate, I guess, for the next Manchester United manager, whatever that is. In his early press conferences, Louis Van Hal said, next to me is the next Manchester United manager. He's expected to do three years of service then. He's done two. And he's said that the next season will be his last. If he fulfills his uh, original contract with Manchester United, he could be away here with Rashford. Martial! Well, if you look at the goals that Martial has scored for Manchester United, so many of them have been from this kind of position, coming in from the left hand side. But what play it was from Rashford, not good defending from Delaney. It was obvious what Rashford was going to do, try and flick it past him. He picks out a cross here, he picks it, he just hits it with pace. Unlucky. You're talking about the cleverness of players, Rashford there showing cleverness. Talk about him playing as a central striker, Martial, later on in his career, but get more opportunities coming in and he plays on the opposite side if you're good at recognising them. He's got 17 goals this season, his first with Manchester United. Of course, got the winner, winner in the semi final. It's interesting to see different styles of. Management from the side of the field. Alan Pardew won't ever sit down right on the edge. Ivan Hull hardly ever gets up. He's had a good season. Marcian, he's had an even better one in some ways. Marcus Rashford. Well, he has come from nowhere, really. With a bypass in the under 21s. Ben Holland played in one or two under 21 games. People said he didn't play very well at all. You can quite see why he made his debut and against Arsenal. Well, he made, uh, of course, a, a European debut, sorry, three nights before, didn't he? And, uh, first onto the scene and kept his place against Arsenal. 
fairy tale continued. It has continued, and now he's in the England squad. Play tomorrow, incidentally. Match the city's ground against Turkey. It again does brilliantly. Rashford goes out on the right-hand side. Here's when Blint loses the ball, and then he has a little tug at Saha, but what was the pace of Wayne Rooney getting back? I think he gets a block on it, and then handball by Saha. Does he get anything on the ball here? He doesn't get anything on the ball, but he doesn't also get anything on Saha. He just lost his balance. Yes, Alan Pardew wants the penalty. I think Mark Tantabo is absolutely right. I think Alan Pardew wanted the penalty, but didn't expect the penalty. The farmer animated on that. It's a corner for United. And the Palace looked to counter-attack here. Well, we've been rehearsing that in the week, I'm sure. Manchester United had enough players back, and Rooney goes from sort of inside left to wide right again. Tennessee punches away. Ten minutes of the first half. It's the Palace nil, Manchester United nil. The 16 FA Cup final from Wembley. Harry decides to have a go. He's had some big decisions to make already. Mark Klattenberg. And this is the one again. He makes the change, but he doesn't actually catch the heart, and he doesn't get anything of the ball. The half is always tumbling over. There's the mistake by Daly Vint, brilliant from Zaha to win it back. There's the infusion, that's why I think Wayne Rooney is a good midfield player. We've seen the cross-field passes, we've seen him involved in the game, he's also done the defensive side of the game. As we always say, referees have to be 100% certain. There's the incident at each end of the pitch. This is a poor decision because Ward was breaking forward. He's going to 
called Wayne Rooney to him. Played the foul far too early here, Mark Attenberg. Ward was away up against Rojo. Ward is then getting beyond him. He's not happy. Price, he says. First one, the Wickham incident. And the second one has uh, led to Rojo becoming the second Manchester United player to be booked after Chris Smalling. Whatever. He couldn't have been found though. Really ran behind the opponents. Off a any sort of straightforward pass. Sometimes you can see why Zahar didn't quite make it at Manchester United. I certainly didn't make it at Manchester United. They do some really good things, but some strange decisions. second half when the teams are attacking the ends behind which their respective supporters or sets of supporters are. And we're a minute plus stoppage time away from the turnaround. It's 
certainly been an entertaining game. There's been some big talking points. United had most of the play, most of the possession. Created one or two decent chances. Fellaini had a couple in the air. But now on the counter, Crystal Palace are looking more and more threatening, and more and more of the Manchester United players are committing silly challenges and getting themselves boxed. Another booking, indeed, for Mata. Is quick to remonstrate. Suarez just rolled it down the line. He's late and he does catch Suarez. Puts his head back, he jumps up in the air. Penalty shout. Connor Wickham thought he'd been allowed to play on when Chris Smalling fouled him and was booked. And the uh, referee called it back. It was an earlier incident involving Damien Delaney, which could have led to a penalty against Crystal Palace if they feeling a bit aggrieved about a couple of incidents. There's maybe one big one that's gone in their favour as well. At half time, it's all set up nicely for the second half, and maybe beyond that as well, it's nil-nil. Goalless first half in the 2015 Emirates FA Cup final. Who will be the happier, do you think, Stuart, if, if either? Well, I think Louis van Gaal would have been the happier after 20 minutes. His side were dominant in possession. They created one or two half chances. It looked as though Rashford and Martial were going to break down the opposition. Wayne Rooney was controlling the game. But just when Crystal Palace started to win the ball back higher up the field and they started winning corners and free kicks, they started to look threatening. And there has been that threat on the counter from Alan Pardew's men. So answering your question, I think they're about equal at the moment. United to start the second half, they're playing their first FA Cup final since 2007, which was the first one here at the new Wembley. That went to extra time and only one goal decided it against them. From Chelsea, from Didier Drogba. Here's their 19th FA Cup final appearance, equaling the all-time record. The club that set that record 12 months ago, Arsenal. I always feel this is a dangerous period in the game still making their way back to their seats, the players quite attuned you know, after that 15 minutes, quite involved mentally. It's important that both sides start this second half well. Carrick. Rashford to uh, Rooney. Rojo out on that left-hand side, just made his run a fraction too early. We've seen him get forward on a couple of occasions, but it's been more Valencia on this right-hand side that's got forward more. Crystal Palace trying to become the 44th different club to win the FA Cup. It would take them into Europe for the first time as well. Manchester United win. The team that benefits in qualification is West Ham. Rashford pulled by Dan. I'd be surprised if that's not a card. Brilliant centre forward play from Marcus Rashford. 
shielded the ball away from Dan. He realised Dan was too tight, got turned, holds off the challenge here. Looking to get away from him, good strength. And pace, Dan has two or three goes at him and quite rightly gets a yellow card. Martial. Three around him. And uh, Martial not really complaining too much that he didn't get the free kick. Again, Mark Tannenberg was right there. Hiding up from Rooney. Most unusual to see him <laughs> pulls back to his goalkeeper from a midfield position. One of the great goal scorers of his generation. Offensive and thoughtful, isn't it, Louis van Gaal? So I think he'd be quite pleased with some aspects of his team's play in that first half. He's won the domestic cup honours in all the countries that he's worked in. Netherlands, Spain and Germany. Zaha. Right at the end of the first half, Conor Wickham pulled on to Daly Blint and won the ball in the air, and it was a dangerous moment. He did it again there and flicked it on for Zaha. Sure, we'll see more of that in this second half. Suarez getting him the ball, the big diagonal, and that's exactly what Pardew may be saying there. But it looks as though Conor yeah, Wickham is going to take a long throw he here. He was telling Wickham to come out and take the throw, wasn't he? Because that is one of Wickham's attributes. And so now Scott down to go forward where he can be so dangerous. in again if he chooses to do so. I'd be surprised if he didn't. It's not a Rory Dallet. And it goes low and hard. It's looped up in the air, but it goes a long way. He's out to Balassi and slips at the vital moment. Good call from Delaney saying leave it to me to Ward. Away by Kelly Blin. It's gone on. Yes, Tattenberg also concerned about the instant. It's James MacArthur who was trying to break in behind as the whistle went. And just offside when it was headed by Balassi. This morning got back anyway. And not all good centre half to do. Came up and then went back in. You see Carrick get involved with in the opposition's midfield player. What a story it would be for MacArthur if he won the FA Cup with Crystal Palace, having won it three years ago with Wigan. A, uh, a unique double. Still nil-nil here. Really still searching for his first FA Cup winner's medal. For Laney, who's uh, in a final as a loser with Everton a few years back. Yeah. came back to it. Rooney able to take a touch. Valencia. Fellaini. On the outside of Suarez. And that was a double ricochet, so it's a goal kick. Well, Nana and Fellaini can do that. Shoots the ball on the edge of the box, gets himself turned. Just caught his chest in the end. Suarez also had the uh, biggest international experience in the stadium. And he played in the Olympics for Senegal. Yeah. They're normally pretty close to each other, Mark Wright and Steve Parrish, but uh, having the tensions of it, Bright, of course, played in those uh, two finals. Original and the replay for Palace in 1990 against Manchester United. Also had a, a final and a replay in his days at Sheffield Wednesday. Yeah. Up the final a couple of times, didn't they? The FA Cup and the League Cup. Sheffield Wednesday with Mark Bright as their centre forward, both against Arsenal. Blin. Still very much in the melting pot here.
rabid Liverpool fan as a boy. Which, uh, gives him even more incentive to try and beat Manchester United. Small. Three United players yellow carded in the first half along with Mata and Rojo. That's been booked in the second half. Take a little bit of a uh, show of initiative from another part of the pitch just to open the game. Chris Smalling half thinking about joining the attack. Now Mata. Rooney. Valencia. Deflect from Rashford. Ball to Laney. And it thuds back into play. Closest we've had to a goal. Marouane Fellaini nearly supplied it after a delightful touch from Marcus Rashford. Well, you talked about it in the first half, those little flicks round the corner in dangerous areas. He does it so often, he does it so well. Fellaini just sliced across the ball. Hennessy was beaten, didn't even make a dive for it. Here's Balassi. Yeah, how close they were to going a goal behind here. He doesn't get very far. Valencia tries his luck. Mata. Rooney. Martial. Good concern, but he's got help from Johan Kabay. Can be a bit reckless with his tackling and very nearly a the typical challenge then. Fellaini leaves it on the call, presumably from Valencia. Trying to sneak in by the near post. Balassi back. And uh, had a long run upfield. What a big chance. Earlier. What a big chance it was here. Valencia involved again, plays a good ball in. There's the little flick from Rashford. Actually doesn't slice across. He almost bends it with the inside of his foot. It's the place to beat the goalkeeper at the near post. High and with pace. Opened the scoring in the semi-final for Manchester United, nearly opened the scoring in the final itself. Rashford is so clever with his little mm. touches around the corner. Just increases the tempo of Manchester United plays. Watch again, when the ball's played in, Laney thinks the ball's for him to start with. Rashford, the little flick, gets away from the Eddie Neck. If you're good enough, you're old enough. Marcus Rashford. Feeling that point on a, a thumping drive by Fellaini. Out of the frame of the goal. It almost seemed to gather pace as it flew back into play. <laughs> Rooney. Oh, an issue there. Which Chris Smalling is probably going to get away with. He gets mixed up with... Wayne Rooney. Oh. A swing and a miss with the arm, didn't he? Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure he did like touch that. it. Yeah. Yeah. Defending and he's still on the pitch, remember, he is. And that tight rope have already been booked. The Palace fans bellowing their support from behind the goal that David De Gea is defending. Fires trying to initiate through for Palace here. Oh, it's one of those who need a really deft touch to get it on target, and yet in that, for all his qualities, probably doesn't quite possess that. And it came to him very quickly, he wasn't expecting it, he runs round the back, gets a little flick on here. It's on him very quickly, leaning back. Feeling in the Palace camp, and there are plenty of uh, survivors from that fight in 1990 here with them today. And the manager, Steve Koppel, and oh, sorry, he's got lucky there. And John Solarco played as a youngster, who's uh, on the coaching staff at Palace now. And he's having a to himself, Mark Wright, we've seen. And they all felt they should have won it. And you've just got the feeling here there's another chance for Crystal Palace to get their name engraved on the trophy for the very first time. 
has finally balanced the course at Nil Nil. Shot in the back from Bailey Blint and for Lasso. Bailey Blint's gone across to the assistant because he said he was having his shot pulled on that occasion. They have a point as well. He's having his shirt pulled, there it is. Bailey Blint doesn't make any effort to go for the ball. It's a bit lucky there, Balassi, and a great opportunity just to bend this ball in again. And on their feet, a lot of them allowed to stand in an all-seater stadium, Selhurst Park, because the, uh, the board of directors encourage it, the Holmesdale end of the ground. And their uh, support is as loud as anything you'll get anywhere. Cheering there, and it's just a put straight in De Gea's gloves. Mike Kabai, you can do better. Valencia. Oxford making the run willingly, but not quite the touch. Good understanding from him, he knew that Valencia was having trouble, couldn't see a pass, came short and then spun into the space down the side. It's a big thing that with every passing season, almost every passing month for Manchester United, not to have won a trophy since Sir Alex Ferguson retired. And if they pass up this opportunity, that uh, sound of complaint will uh, be louder and louder from Old Trafford. Rooney. Rojo has made space for the cross, has he? Yes, he has. And that's given Fellaini a chance. But Fellaini got there first. Well, Fellaini had to wrestle Suare out the way so he could get to the ball. It's a good cross from Rojo, that's exactly where Fellaini wants it, but there's two players up against him. Fellaini does well. Takes the safe option, heads it straight out for a corner. Well, first, uh, Rashford. And Matter went to offer a short corner option, but Bailey Blinn, all season long, has been the centre back corner taker for Manchester United. And it's uh, one that Fellaini reaches here. Rojo tries to head it on. And Palace Cope, good header back from Fellaini. That's all he could do. He was running back towards the touchline, just gets it back into a good area. Maybe Rojo should have done better on that occasion. Frustrated, he wanted to keep the tempo up by throwing it quickly to somebody who was no one offering themselves. They are better at Manchester United when they pass the ball with more purpose and more speed. Not easy here. Does Palace have a plan? It's not a plan that's really surprised us in terms of the, the shape of, the, uh, of uh, the way they've gone about their business. Maybe the surprise of the midfield players in specific roles. But it's working so far, and there's one of those midfield players, Kabai, stretching to make the intercept, and it's back with Rooney again. Goalless first hour at Wembley. Martial trying to change that. Tried to blow the 1-2 again with Rashford, just got intercepted. They've not stopped, have they, those Crystal Palace fans? Not quite so energetic up the other end, the Manchester United fans. Then Valencia prods it forward, Suare heads partially away. Mata. Valencia, they've got Fellaini back post now. Oh, that's a good save from Martial's header by Hennessy. Had to reach a long way. If it lacked anything, it was a bit of pace. Now come Palace. With Balassi. Carrick staying with it. Suare trying to get into the middle. Spread at the moment. Well, if he did get anything on it, Hennessy, it's a great save. Also hit that far post. Did he just push it onto it? Here comes Delaney. Kattenberg, quick to. I think this is a poor challenge from Delaney. He's overrun the ball. He then goes with his. Challenge as well. 
Here's the chance again. The cross comes in from Valencia. Martial with the touch there. Now straight onto the post, wasn't it? Yeah, certainly was. Scrambling across is Hennessy. It's a good header from Martial to play it into the area that he played it. He wasn't going to get there, the goalkeeper. That's the second time now they've hit the post. Is it going to be one of those days for Manchester United? This is the foul. Does he go over the top of the ball here? Oh, he leaves his shit. It's a silly challenge. Once he went to ground, Rojo plays the ball. But I don't think there was too much intent. It wasn't quite as bad as I first thought, but he's in trouble here. He has just come back from injury, Marcus Rojo. His time with Manchester United has been a bit stop start. Neil Swarbrick is the fourth official. And the chapter of Damien Delaney. Potentially could have damaged himself Delaney as well. There's Rojo on the receiving end. So one post from Delaney, the other from Martial, Manchester United knocking on the door. Well, they have got Damien on the bench, but... He went off with what looked like a serious injury against Norwich only two or three weeks ago. Just inquiring of the physio what they need to do. Rojo's on his feet. They want to get back. They only do that when there's a pause in play. Poznan, isn't it? The Palace of Copy from Manchester City who copied it from Poznan, like Poznan. Rojo has returned. See what sort of state he's in. He's flexing and grimacing on that far side. Here's Carrick. And now Mata. Almost 20 minutes gone in the second half. Rooney, Carrick, now going to make the change. Rojo is still forward. Had a fairly good hit. Rojo drives it in hard and low. Martial trying to fast uh, onto it on the burst and get his shot away. That's a very good pass from Rojo out on that left-hand side. He didn't try and cross, he tried to pass into Martial, but his touch made the ball bounce up and had a defender to get to him. And now getting his um, instructions, who to mark, what your defensive role is in various situations. Joel Ward. That's the end of the FA Cup final for Marcus Rojo. No foul given there. Still trying to let the ball run across his body. Oh, Matteo Damian. Left an imprint on Crystal Palace last month when he scored a spectacular goal in that 2 0 United win in the Premier League at Old Trafford. His only goal since coming into English football. Well, the first change, and it's not a tactical one, it's a force on United through injury. And they're really on Kabai. Good start by Damian. First two balls played into. Zaha, he's one, that's one of them. But Rooney doesn't react quickly enough. Brings down the Frenchman. Kabaya takes, Dan gets his head to it. Put 
just over by the right foot of Delaney. Well, it's just a long ball played forward into the danger. Ed Dan does well, just flicking it on. Smalling wins the next header. That's a fairly hopeful effort in the end from Delaney. Not too much conviction in it. As Rojo left the field, he had a, one or two words for the Crystal Palace centre-back. The man who was in charge of Manchester United 26 years ago. And it's often said that by winning the FA Cup, he spared himself from the sack. And he always disputes that, saying he would have had the, uh, the support of uh, the board to go again. But he did win it. And uh, been a, a virtual array of trophies under the Ferguson years, or in the Ferguson years since then. Now, here's the change, Ooh. change of tactics. One change with Darwin, which was, as you said, an injury. Now, maybe the change of tactics with punching coming on because he's a different sort of player and he can make things happen for Crystal Palace. There's uh, MacArthur trying to wedge it forward. I imagine he would be the player to make way. MacArthur hasn't really affected the game in any way. So staying in the game isn't the main priority, we've got to try and win it. The disappointment will be if he brings off one of the wide players for Punchin to come on. Rashford. Well, to take Palace on. And I think Kabai just steps on him here. Side. As he fell to the ground, I think it's Kabai that just stood on his knee. This is where they wanted the free kick, and Zahar just tugs his shoulder back there. Kabai coming across, just here. Does he know what he's doing? Really got to tell. And Kabai will know that. I think he did know what he was doing, having seen it a second time. One would have suspected that. Plenty of chance to avoid Marcus Rashford on the floor. Slightly naughty from the Frenchman. The second injury for Manchester United in the second half. Uh, twice come within inches of taking the lead. Mainly with the first one. Set it's up flick. by Rashford. Brilliant flick. I'm not sure he hits it in real conviction, I think he's just hitting it goalwards, and here's the header from Martial that just hits the outside of the post. Hennessy was definitely beaten. He's struggling here, Marcus Rashford. Well, that is, of course, and as Jesse Lingard gets ready, a blow for the player himself, also with uh, England in mind. <laughs> Ashley Young is the one who's going to get the call. Scored against Bournemouth, he came on as a substitute on Tuesday evening. Played as a central striker then, and one would guess that that's the job he's going to get here. He came on against Tottenham and played as a central striker. Saw him play for the under 21s. Spurs going back after injury and played brilliantly as the main strike, as he did for Watford when he first broke into their team. Quick free kick by Rooney. Carrick. Martial. Work well on the car for the Scott. Dan. Kabai. Carter again. Mitchell. So about to enter the fray, there's Kabai. And the offside. And John Brooks, the assistant, rather spoils it with a chance to get at the uh, ten men of Manchester United. Not a decision that the Crystal Palace fans agreed with, but it's a tight one. And it's Kabai who's coming off. 
sure he's too pleased with that. Yeah, hang goodbye. It means that MacArthur will go deeper alongside Yedinak now. That's because Alan Pardew doesn't trust Kabai defensively. He's had a long and varied career, Jason Punchin, but he comes from Crystal Palace territory. He's finally found a home. Ashley Young, who we have to describe now as the former England international. And he's going to play in the centre forward role. Found him for that the late goal against Bournemouth, and they interplay here. Martial ready to have a crack. Ricochet into the path of Young or Fellaini. And by Suarez. been told to stop Carrick getting on the ball, just watched him play some punch, he's just following Carrick around the field at the moment. Can't get enough on that from Matter. So, uh, accepting the defensive side of his uh, responsibilities. Maybe he's changed, but I'm not sure he's really changed the tactics particularly. Of uh, attackers on the bench that he could possibly use instead of Wickham, like Gale, who finished the season pretty well. Scored both goals in their last win against Stoke and Selhurst Park. And of course, Emmanuel Adebayor. He knows a bit about Manchester from his time from Manchester City. Not the biggest player, Suarez, but he certainly attacks the ball in the air. Did well against Fellaini on that occasion. when you've got Fellaini playing in the box, get players in and around him. Get your crosses in. Not trying to help it on there. Swept away by MacArthur. Wickham's got to start winning some of those challenges because Crystal Palace aren't going to get too much of the ball. And as he starts to back in and win possession and bring others into play, Looking a bit isolated, isn't he? It's still nil-nil. They're still in with a serious shout of winning the FA Cup for the first time. And he made a trophy for the first time. Martial, Rooney. Ward made the challenge, but it's now Carrick, as you say, with punching for company. Young. Defended well. Tried to buy a free kick as well, tried to con the assistant referee as he played that forward, a scream and a roll. Yeah, the Irish eyes were smiling with humour, weren't they? Worth a shout, I think, probably Damien Delaney would have said. Not worth a free kick. Manchester United trying to this defence again, Mata from Young's line, it doesn't quite happen for them. Vigorous defending from Palace, here is Wickham. And got a free kick, just matched over by Valencia. Yeah, that was better because he was up against Blint. And he knew he had the physical strength to hold off Blint to start with. And Valencia coming back, went on the wrong angle. Just allows them a little bit of time to get more players in the forward area. Three kicks going to go long. Still only 23, Connor Wickham. He seemed destined for really great things. He scored a winning goal for England under 17s in a European final. And a big move up to Sunderland from Ipswich. Still feel he's got it in him. Got the player of the tournament in that 
in the 17 champion as well. his work, so Scott Dan who's going to stay in there, Hunchins ball, Dan's going to attack it, but it doesn't reach him, Smalling sort of that, but Crystal Palace, in front of their own supporters, have a corner, 13 minutes away from extra time here. And he has to head it, Smalling, as Dan was coming round the back, Hunchins going to come with his left foot, it's a great deliverer of these balls into the box. Disappointed to be left out of the side. What a moment for the chairman and Mark Bright. Not quite so good for Louis van Gaal, but he's got to get his team to get crosses into the box. Get it wide. Got to play high tempo football now to get themselves back into this game. What a moment for the headline writers. The knockout punch for Manchester United, for Louis van Gaal. Should it stay this way? Still a should. Ten minutes to go. United desperate at the very least to take this to extra time. Rooney. It's a great weaving run from the Manchester United captain. Has to stay on the feet. He's got the cross in. Fellaini can get it down. And it's level it. One matter. Great response from United. Well, and it comes off his shin in the end. 
The FA Cup winner with Chelsea four years ago has kept his chances of a winner's medal alive after the left foot of Punchin and the left foot of Matter. And we're level again at Wembley. Just shows you you get crosses into the box. <laughs> I think the Palace players thought they'd stop the cross, didn't they? Yeah. He found a way, Rooney, a remarkable cutback. Just shepherd him to one side, keep him going away from the goal, but he still found a way to punish them by the cross that led to the equaliser. Here's Young. And Suarez. to matter back for young again sorry puts it away and that knockout punch has gone away for the moment They're still on their feet Manchester United and sees off his feet to make the catch just too much height on that one Dwight Gale there is Arguably the best finisher that Crystal Palace have. He is their leading scorer, but only with seven goals in all competitions this season. They have not really backed up the potential in other parts of the team by getting a sufficient amount of goals. All sorts of chopping and changing as the main man in their attack. Uh, on the attack here with a free kick. Quite some while they went without a centre forward and Balassi played as the main striker. This is what Manchester United can't afford to do, give cheap free kicks away. Dan will go up, Delaney will be a threat. Challenge like that, one of them staying down. Young got straight back up, wanted to get on with it. Told to Suarez. Oh, and, uh, wasn't the best ball from MacArthur Wood, would have been better. Did not take a chance on it, this could be very costly. Martial. Young trying to get across his man. Valencia. Not pressing him, hard and low. Nearly forced it in, become quite a cup final now, Stuart. It certainly has. And when that ball came in the first time, I'm not sure whether Ashley Young kicks it in the wrong direction. I think he was first to it. Well, it's been a really good cup final. It's been a brilliant last 20 minutes. Valencia doing really well, as he has done throughout the game. He goes for power on this occasion. Young has a couple of swings at it. This is the second opportunity for Young. It's an earlier one. Conor Wickham goes off, fresh legs belong to Dwight Gale. He's got a bit of pace, he's got a bit of devilment about him, Dwight Gale. Valencia. Delaney to attack it as he loves to do. Arthur's header. Then Rooney runs his way. Is the cup coming his way? Well, it will be revisited by Mark Lattenberg. It certainly will. It's a yellow card. There's the devilment in Wayne Rooney. He's been excellent all game. He's led the scene well. He overruns the ball, and then flies into the challenge. And it's a naughty one as well. Those stud showing goes down the side of the ball. But easily have injured Zahar on that occasion. What a run it was for the equaliser. Just when you want your captain to come to the fore, as he has been for most of the game. Well, right. Talk too much in the match about Palacio and Zaha. 
gets his ball here. Suarez across. Ooh. Somehow picked himself up quickly to cut down the possession and to win a corner. That's the first time we've seen Matter exposed defensively. Suarez got down the outside of him. It's a good cross into the box. I thought that Zaha just gave a little nudge just there. He doesn't. Darnian just misses it completely. 88, 619, the attendance. No one's leaving. Dan has a run at it. Another corner. What a challenge by both players. Dan trying desperately to get their first small in, reading the danger. Really good defensive play from Chris Smallin. Still striving, but he's caught earlier corner. Nice young chases, and Hennessy mops up. It's only the third time they've been played together in the FA Cup. The fifth game, the other two, the final in 1990 and the semi final in 19. Went to replays. This could be heading for extra time. Hands back. That is well. That's a missed the opportunity. When he gets to the almost to the ball, he's got to cross that ball. It's no ball coming back again. That was the opening. Carrick. Blin. As we said in the first half, of course, Manchester United played on Tuesday. End of a, a tough season, will extra time be a bridge too far for them? They might not need it, of course, if Fellaini can knock this down. Jesse Lingard is coming on. It is the goal from Jason Punchin. His first touch, had the ball to bounce up. I'm not sure De Gea was expecting that to be hit in the near post. Here's the one, the other end. Ward will relive this moment time and time again. On his left foot, hits him on the hill, and suddenly United are back in the game. Driven on by Wayne Rooney. And the scorer of the equaliser, Juan Mata. He's replaced by Jesse Lingard. We were both surprised he didn't start the game, Jesse Lingard. He this started year. the semi final, and Matter didn't. But, uh, that's the goal, justified the inclusion. Now uh, Lingard's in a position where he could uh, be a, a substitute hero. Punching. Get it back again. That's a challenge deemed to come from behind. Set about the decision than Alan Pardew is. Well, he won the ball to start with, punching. Smalling. Can it be decided in added time rather than extra time? players out there. Well, Lassie being one of them, which the Palace fans were urging him to race onto that ball. So he just sat back in front of Lingard. Rooney. Valencia. Played 
by Balassi. And he's gone for the Hollywood pass. With right go. He's on the wrong side of Chris Smalling. Need to be the other side and inside of Bailey Blint. Rooney. Deja vu for Alan Pardew, mustn't it? He's been in winning positions in two previous cup finals, one as a player, one as a manager. He's going to have to make a defensive change here. Scott Dan is limping, Adrian Mariapa. He's made to Scott Dan go down, so he'll make the change. Oh, that's a blow. Just his defensive abilities, but that he is the guy who gets on the end of many of their set pieces. He missed the League Cup final completely through injury when he was a Birmingham player five years ago. Got a winner's medal, but uh, was on crutches at the time. Obviously, participate. Always difficult for a defender coming on. into extra time, you've got to get used to the pace of the game. It's a worrying moment. Here's Zaha. Oh. Oh, yeah. You hardly have written a story like that, could you, Wolf Zaha? After those two frustrating years as a Manchester United player. And this gets the better of Chris Smalling. It's one or twice that that's happened. Chris Smalling hasn't been at his brilliant best today. Valencia comes across and stops Zaha getting closer to goal. Oh, he's missing that near post. Suarez. Getting out of Salome. Still a tussle. Lingard. Young. Now for 15 minutes each way, extra time. I think there's one team that will want to win the game in extra time. There'll be one team that may want it to go to penalties. Well, level at nil-nil for long periods, and then inside the last 15 minutes. And pat of goals, punching and matter. It's going to blow. This is the regulation time. Now he has done. So it's extra time at Wembley if Louis van Gaal is going to get Manchester United back on the silverware trail. It's stamina as well as skill that's going to be part of it. Alan Pardew. Feeling that Jason Punchin had been his master stroke from the bench, but uh, the lead was quickly wiped out by Juan Mata. 1 1, and we go to extra time. Wolfrey Zaha in those last few moments had a sight of goal. Jason Punchin will be pleased, he's going to get more FA Cup final football than he probably thought when uh, he was sent on, but. Of course, he would much rather it had ended those 13 minutes after he put the ball in the net with a 1-0 Palace win. Ifs, buts and maybes. <laughs> Extra time underway at Wembley. his first extra time header. Hey, Louis van Gaal was taking his team talk at the end of normal time. A lot of it was aimed at Mano Amplaini, whether they're going to leave him in a fairly forward area and try and hit big diagonals to him, get crosses into the box for him. There's Valencia, still full of running. Carrick, Martial, 
the way through. Pulled up play by Gale. It's on for Balassi. And Zaha continued his run. It could be in here. Wilfred Zaha for Crystal Palace. Rooney's back, and uh, he was the third one back. Valencia and Blind actually on either side of Zaha. What a ball this is from Balassi. Good vision. Zaha's made the run. Valencia doesn't get round on the cover quickly enough. He eventually gets there. It's Blint that gets the challenge in. Just twisted his ankle, and then Rooney again getting back and doing enough. Good referee in again by Mark Plattenberg on that occasion. Macarthur. with Jamaica, but actually was born just up the road from here at Harrow. Now you're in northwest London, close to Wembley. Rooney. Carrick. Here comes Smalling, scored an own goal in the semi-final and another own goal. Tuesday night for Bournemouth, a uh, late consolation that ruined David De Gea's evening. He was on for a share of the Golden Glove Award. But, uh, managed to accomplish the shutout, which would have given them that share. Damian, Rooney, Young, Martial. For Rooney again. Lingard scampering about to try and influence proceedings. Here he is again. Well, it started late here at Wembley today, it's going to finish late. Which way is it going to go? We're still away in the nearer knowing, and once you knew Fellaini had turned his back on that, it wasn't going to lead to Manchester United turning this around. There's Marcus Rashford, who created an opportunity earlier on in the game for Naran Fellaini, again showed all his qualities. A nasty whack from Kabai. I, I think stood on him on purpose. Quite seeing that same jig from Alan Pardew is when they scored their goal now. Well, I must say it seemed a little premature at the time. Particularly given what's happened to him in his two previous FA Cup finals, that's a foul on the Eddie Nack by Fellaini. So in playoff games, I remember being at Millennium Stadium when he was manager of Reading. His team were winning 2-1 and also equalised in the very last minute and then went on to win in extra time. Hold your horses. Gale, it's a bit on it, but not quite enough. Back around contest. Right between Ward and Young. Game goes on, Zaha tries to go on. Carrick having a bit of a go at Mark uh, Plattenberg about being manhandled. Possibly a bit of a go about uh, front men not being available for a clearance. To Martial, who swapped with Young at the moment, it seems. And we saw Ryan Giggs at half time talking to Martial about changing his position from wide left to centre forward. Left. Martial. Rooney. He's played plenty of games for England with Young. And Young was a winger. She is now. He didn't get a sniff of the semi final, Ashley Young. Came after the match you mentioned earlier when he played the second half at Spurs. In that, uh, emergency striker's role. Didn't do quite enough on that occasion to go past Wall. He wanted to go down the outside. Palace fans 
have lost none of their stamina, but the players, certainly in one or two parts of the pitch, are suffering a bit. Up goes Gale. The faithful MacArthur. Suare still full of pace. And positive thinking here. Hopefully to get a free kick out of that in the end. the case, Ryan Giggs coming to the side, Louis Van Gaal still sitting down. Lingard, smothering challenge by Mariapa, which involved the use of a hand. He's a very competitive player, Mariapa. Just came uh, originally from Watford. We were knocked out by Palace in the semi-final. Is young, trying to do better this time. Out from Damian. Rooney. Got the angle more advantageous. You see what he was trying to do. Put a bit of whip on it. Hand it back inside that far post. Well, Mullaney's getting involved before on the far side, but here comes that shot again. Just gets too wide to start with, doesn't get the whip he's looking for. Is he going to get the FA Cup winner's medal he's looking for? And, uh, probably Charlton's records under threat is it's 2 4 9 for Sir Robert and 2 4 5 now for Wayne after his goal on uh, Tuesday against Bournemouth. Yeah, a little bit of pushing and shoving between Fellaini and Punchin in the penalty box. to see a handshake at the end of it. Nearly knack back on Fellaini duty, though. By Smalling. That's where you want to see Martial a bit more alive. It was obvious that Smalling was going to win that header and get power in the header. Martial didn't really react, didn't look to run in behind. Dale jumping. Forward by Carrick, met by Yedinak, and Carrick again. In goes Young with Ward, who fouls him. Still thinking about the quick free kick, quickish from Carrick to Lingard. Martial. Lingard again for Laney. Lingard! In the corner on the far side for Manchester United. I think Fellaini makes good contact with this. Lingard does really well to pick him out, he's the only player in the box. It's good contact, but Mariapa is with the first block, and Suarez with the second. Glenn to take it. And curved Fellaini for the most part. One lapse of concentration. So Smalling to deal with as well. Doesn't reach for Laney, fisted away by Hennessy. Ooh, uh, the crowd, the Crystal Palace crowd wanting Wayne Rooney to be sent off here. The second yellow. Well, the ball's up in the air a long time. I don't think Wayne Rooney's just got eyes for the ball here. Just leaves his foot there, dangerous thing to do. He's looking at the ball, he's looking at the ball, punching. Knows the challenge is coming in. Right in front of Mark Plattenberg. Gives Wayne Rooney the benefit of the doubt on that occasion. And punching did well for him too. And you mentioned that kind of uh, sporting response from the players earlier. And, well, the stakes are very high here. If uh, a line is crossed, you can sometimes uh, explain it, if not excuse it. But, uh, and some good elements to the way these teams have gone about their business, but I think Rooney's probably on a last warning. Manchester United have had a player sent off in an FA Cup final before Kevin Moran, and they actually won despite that. Yellow card for Fellaini. Not so sporting. 
get in that claim and he got one across the face here. Well, I think he makes the most of it. Yes, he does lead with his arm. He doesn't swing it, though, really, no. does he? He's just trying to get a bit of height in his jump. You do find tall players do get penalised a lot. Peter Crouch, another one. Kevin Davis. Yeah. Every time there was an aerial challenge, referees give a foul one way or the other on most aerial challenges these days. Linked. Oh, what a try from Yannick Balassi. That could have easily caught a less vigilant goalkeeper out. Well, Yannick Balassi is now playing through the middle, and he has been for the last five minutes or so. This is a really good effort. Great technique, and it's going in at the near post, I think. The mayor had to get down and make the save. Yes, he does with that bottom hand. That was just creeping in at the near post. Manchester United's player of the season for the last three seasons, including this one. The three so far trophyless seasons. But that save might just help get the FA Cup in their hands. Near the end of this protracted FA Cup final. Confirmation of the Fellaini booking. And he's back. Heading safely away, but it's uh, MacArthur. It's come through to Balassi. Somehow rather cleared the way. Now Balassi tries again. And again. Yeah. And happy to go to ground to get the free kick. More than happy to go to ground. He didn't really have an out ball. He was under pressure. Lends into Balassi's challenge. It's the arm that the referee sees to start with. I think Match United have to force the issue. They don't want this game going into penalty shootout. goal but he just loses out on this occasion and then he did pick up the ball and thought about being dissentful with it but thought better of it at the age of 30 he has learned one or two well when Alan Pardew yeah. first took over Yedinak was injured then he couldn't get back into the side Yedinak could be such a good player for Tony Pulis just before him but in the last half of the season it's been excellent getting that back in the side, even though results haven't been good. He's been one of Alan Pardew's first picks, and he's done a good job today. Credit to the Socceroos. <laughs> went round and got to make sure he kept it in. Definitely Ashley Young's come to the left-hand side now. And Marcio's playing through the middle, but he made a really important save, David De Gea. Rooney. Space here for Damiano, who is right-footed. So he goes in and narrows the play a bit. Rooney. Valencia. Taking on Punchin. Oh, it's a bit scuffed. It nearly came to Lingard. Oh, wow. Well, that's going to be the end, surely, for Chris Smalling's FA Cup final. An early yellow card comes back to haunt him, and he could argue he's taken one for the team here. But there was still a long way to go. He was in the opposition half, but he had to do it, Stuart. Well, first of all, he gets in a terrible body position. He doesn't have to win that ball in front of the striker. There's no way he can win it. And then he gets tangled up. Can't win the ball here. Yes, he's having his shirt tugged, but then he dives across, then grabs the foot of Balassi. He had to go. It's a silly challenge. He can't win that ball. He's just got to be patient. Maybe there's one of the 
reasons like this one is still learning the game. So, Manchester United down to 10. Rooney having to do even more. A bit too much to the plane. Ashley Young at left back, I think. And Darmian's going to go into the centre half position. You usually see Carrick go into centre half. That's the discussion those two are having at the moment. Louis Van Hal and Ryan Giggs. Well, I've got a bit more time to talk about it now. We're half time and extra time. Chris Smalling following Kevin Moran of Manchester United in the 1985. Jose Antonio Reyes for Arsenal against Manchester United 20 years after that. Pablo Zabaleta three years ago and Manchester City were beaten here by Wigan. And Chris Smalling of Manchester United against Crystal Palace 2016 to that role of FA Cup final dishonour. Well, you said about one team playing for penalties, I guess you meant Crystal Palace. I certainly <laughs> did, it's going to all be changed now. Manchester United just got to get through this last 15 minutes. Certainly not going to dominate possession now. 11 versus 10. Good thinking to do. Who's he going to play at centre half? Surely he's not going to go with Damian as centre half. I wonder whether he could go with maybe three at the back with Carrick just sitting a little bit deeper. I don't know. It's his problem. Alan Pardew's problem is now the psychology has switched to Palace. It's their chance. They had a squandered opportunity, they led 1-0 through Jason Punchin's sensational arrival from the substitutes bench. That didn't last very long. Just give information to Jesse Lingard there. We'll have to wait and see. But now they can be on the front foot, Crystal Palace, they can play more energy, they can play with more verb going forward, they can get the ball forward quick and get some ball to it. Just to remind you all that all the substitutes have been used, so there can be no... Uh, like Phil Jones, for example, who could have been brought on as a, a substitute centre-half, he's now out of the equation, because the three committed going to be Darmian at centre-half alongside Bailey Blint and Ashley Young has gone back to left-back. He has played left-back, of course, not that often in his Manchester United career, just to get a game at times. Well, also he plays a left-wing-back, didn't he, earlier yeah. in the season when Louis Van Gaal was playing with three at the back. So we're into 15 minutes more. So there's no real change in the midfield for Match United. Carrick is the holder, Rooney and Fellaini either side of him, but I don't think Fellaini will go quite so far forward as he has done throughout the game. Dale, I'm sure, had been told to get at. There's a makeshift centre-back in uh, Darmian, and the uh, same would apply to Balassi. It was, as you were saying, playing through the middle for a while. Maybe he and Gale will be a pairing now. Hill on the right hand side. And now on the left side of the player, Crystal Palace. Punchins playing in field. So they're also get the ball forward. Suarez going to have to do the hole on the left side, almost wears a left wing back. If they can switch the play out to it and uh, use the extra man. Always uh, seems uh, more straightforward. Yes, is Zaha, and here is Gale. The hair keeps the minute again, Manchester United. Now Balassi. Still Balassi. And Mark Hattenberg rules corner. Dwight Gale, who's such a good finisher, is furious with himself. And what a good run as well. Look at the timing of this run. He gets it absolutely right. It's a good ball played in behind. He changes it from one foot to the other. Gets his shot away quite quickly as well, just tries to toe poke it past the hair. Crystal Palace in the ascendancy here. They will never have a better chance of winning the FA Cup, you feel. They were knocked out by the punch, but they could have been blown away by the gale. But Manchester United. 
Hamburg is still on their feet. a glance to it. That's coming out again. MacArthur doesn't really need to make that challenge. There was nobody in front of Lingard. Sticks his arm out to stop the match United player counter-attacking, but there was no one to join in with him. He's not the quickest. James MacArthur is very much a coach's player, isn't he? Give him a job, he sticks to it. Had a couple of jobs today, the first half. He was trying to stop Carrick playing, which he did quite well. Really get on the ball. He dropped back when they took the bye off. He dropped back in alongside Yedinak. This is where Manchester United need Martial to show real enthusiasm, to make runs, to try and run in behind Crystal Palace. We talked about Palace pressing high in the semi-final. They've got the energy, and it's a big if, I think, at this uh, late stage. I'll give them maybe a better chance of forcing the error, but you can see there's the weariness in some of their players as well. Now's the time to take the gamble. Mm. I think Manchester United have set themselves here just to hang on. They're not going to get too many balls played forward. Center halves aren't going to go up for set plays. Carrick. Then got a Martial linking up here. Still Jesse Lingard. Oh, what a way that would have been for Michael Carrick if it is to be the end of his Manchester United career to have sealed it. He'd made up so much ground. I'll take back everything I said, there's the holding midfield player making a run into the box, and what a run it was too. Lingard did well, kept the ball, played a little one-two with Martial. Not sure he scored too many headed goals, is he Michael Carrick in his career? Not too, too many goals full stop, but... There is a feeling around Old Trafford, but if the manager changes, then Carrick might well be offered a new contract. Here's Valencia. Ten men are striving for a good play to him. Jesse Lingard with a thumping goal. History before your very eyes. What a great strike it was from Lingard. Valencia has been a threat all afternoon. Got down the right hand side. He's obviously going to get a booking for taking his shirt. I don't really worry too much about what a good finish, just hitting through the back of the ball. Here's the danger man, Valencia, time and time again, he's trying to get down this right-hand side, up against Punchin. Punchin's a bit unlucky. And he goes, he just gets the cross in, they get the first block in, but what a good strike as it comes back to him. Yedinak can't quite get to him. Carter as well was there. That's the perfect strike. That won the FA Cup for Manchester United and Louis van Gaal for 10 man Manchester United. Well, the last Jesse shooting like that was Jesse James. Well, it wasn't quite the same jig as Alan Pardews, but it was something similar. Here's Gale, who will now be fretting even more about the chance that he couldn't take. Zaha. And it's just wide from Yedinak. Didn't quite have the power or the direction of Lingard. They haven't won the game just yet, Match United. There's still a fair time to go. Oh, that's an unlucky finish. Watch, he tries to bend it with the inside of his foot. Always oh, creeping away. David De Gea had it covered. Good response. And then the Eagles. the important role of substitutes in the modern day game. And Jesse Lingard did, of course, get the compulsory card for 
taking his shirt off. It's a, it's a questionable legislation, I think. Made by players, by administrators who've never scored a goal in their lives. But it does seem a strange way to celebrate, but not many players. I'm not sure it's a celebration used to it. <laughs> Always standing in disbelief. It is a free kick to Manchester United. Well, Carrick had the chance with his head, but Lingard has had an excellent season. Another player that's come to the fore when Manchester United have been struggling. Couldn't hit that any sweeter, could he? Had no time to think about it. Just set up nicely for him. And he hits right through the back of the ball with his laces. No chance for Hennessy. Well, Alan Pardew knows there's still time. But he might be forgiven for thinking, not again. From a winning position in FA Cup final, first as a player. 26 years ago with Palace and, uh, and as a manager with West Ham. And I would say Louis van Gaal's been quite brave because it almost looks as though Lingard is playing up front with Martial. He will drop into midfield when Crystal Palace have the ball, but it's a 4-3-2. Or... Yeah. Good credit to the manager, Louis van Gaal. Here's Delaney. Give credit to Manchester United for finding the resolve. It's not been their best season in terms of performances. But they have uh, really been lacking when it comes to effort. They, in some ways, you feel at times with the pressure on the manager. The players have policed it themselves, and they've just got on with it. And they've refused to lie down. They've kept on going when. The Chelsea situation when they fell out with Jose Mourinho, and it looks as though those players, perhaps down tools a little bit, going to be doing them a disservice. If so, uh, apologies. And the ball was up by Balassi as he looked to get it onto his right foot for the shot. Just for a moment there, Damian took a massive risk. When that ball was thrown into Balassi, he was going to try and win it in front. Usually a brought down Balassi. Just going to be. Sensible with their defending, yes, they've got to defend with urgency. Can't give cheap free kicks away. Can't try and win balls that aren't there to be won. Classic. Worked by MacArthur. Push Damien Bellamy up front now. And he's over there. Probably their best header of the ball now on the pitch, Damian Delaney. Well, they've been the twists and turns here. Here's the going to be another one, not like that. There will probably be one more chance, or certainly half a chance, in this last four minutes. Instinctive strike by Lingard. Here goes Punch it. Trying to get the return ball. Suare. Mariapa. Yedina nicely played. On to Ward. It's a difficult ball for Zaha, but he might get that. But yet again. Where would they be without David De Gea? Even today, but game after game after game. He's got a problem here. Did he take a whack to the head? Looks as though he has done. Well, we might have to see what, where would they be without him for three minutes to remain. And, of course, no substitution. What a pass it was. Ward inside of Ashley Young, down the side of Luke. 
Zahar got there first, has the chance just to lift it over the goalkeeper, get his toe underneath it. He has been exceptional for three years at Match United, David De Gea. He's a calm, composed goalkeeper, him screaming and shouting. And uh, has been a story, and, and it's only, of course, as uh, Crystal Palace in the boardroom down was uh, thinking about it going wrong. He's been uh, obviously through the gamut of emotions, as now the former Manchester United boss. But uh, uh, David De Gea doesn't want to stay at United if Louis van Gaal stays the manager. Oh, that's a story that's come out from Spain, it's been reported in the... Uh, English press. He is a fantastic goalkeeper. What Manchester United need now is Fellaini to start winning balls in the air again. He looks absolutely shattered. The Belgian midfield player. He's got to help out the likes of Blin. Darmian. And balls come into the box. with such a glorious past has produced a glorious occasion here at the climax of the 15-16 season. I said it right at the start, it's one of the best atmospheres I've seen here at Wembley. The new stadium's been here. In from Yedina. And De Gea swats it away. Zaha. Is that the first mistake by David De Gea by punching there when he could have caught that quite easily? Looking up at the clock, he knows there's not long left. Hennessy. Up towards Delaney. Marked by Fellaini. And the flag up in any case. That's careless, really, but with fatigue and also the shock, you are 1 0 up at Wembley. And immediately that lead is wiped out. Then you're one man up at Wembley. And almost immediately you concede. Tough to take. So the other side of the coin, the other end of the stadium, and to burst into rapture at the moment when that final whistle goes in a moment. But here's Zaha, this must be the last attack for Palace. He scuffed the cross, and Lingard whacks it away and appropriately has the last touch. He's decided it, Manchester United are back on the trophy trail. Louis van Gaal's fighting to keep his job has delivered a record equaling 12th FA Cup 
but how dramatic the storyline. So they were a goal down. And they equalised, they were a man down, and they found an extraordinary winning goal. A goal that will be replayed over and over again when you look at great FA Cup moments from Jesse Lingard. Palace flattened. And Manchester United have ended this void of three years since Sir Alex Ferguson by getting silverware. It's the FA Cup after extra time. Crystal Palace 1, Manchester United 2.